At Ironside Bird Rescue, Susan A. Holt has seen a lot. Birds electrocuted, hit by cars, injured by other animals. But what pains her the most is when she gets a call that a bird has been deliberately hurt by a person. For the last 34 years, Aholt has run the only bird rescue operation in the state of Wyoming that accepts all birds and small mammals, not just raptors. Last week, Aholt received a call about a crow with a broken wing in Thermopolis. And Susan says she was disappointed when it was determined that the bird had been shot. The, there are two bones between your wrist and your elbow destroyed the bone right in the middle and his left wrist. So he was not, uh, I couldn't save the wing. So I did humanely euthanize him. And then two days later, an adult male red tail hawk from Thermopolis within a block of where that crow came from. And when I took him in to get him x-rayed, he has an air pistol pellet in his shoulder. Aholt has been the Bighorn Basin's bird lady for almost 35 years. She's devoted her life to taking care of injured birds of all breeds. What I do is rehabilitate injured and orphaned, all birds and small mammals. Susan says these types of deliberate human inflicted injuries don't happen very often, but she says she does have the full support of local sheriff's departments and the Game and Fish. We have the best game and fish people in the world in this state. The guys in Sheridan will drive and meet me halfway. They'll meet me in Shell. They'll meet me at the observation point. They'll drive them all the way here. In the case of the crow and the hawk that were shot in Thermopolis, Aholt says the word is out and they hope to catch whoever is shooting innocent birds. This has been reported to the game and fish, has been reported to the cops, and anybody who has seen my Facebook page or the Hot Springs counties um, are all going to be on the lookout for somebody. It costs money to rehabilitate these birds, but Susan says that she's got some fantastic donors. Rocky Mountain Foundation, um, Pacific Corp, uh, give me a grant every year. I just got two of them from them. And then I have, there are family foundations that give me donations, and people will just mail me donations or they'll bring a bird and hand me some money. So it's, it's all done on grants and donations. And Susan says that if anyone finds an injured bird, all they have to do is call. If they can uh, gather it up and put it in a, a dog crate or a cat crate or something, cover it over with a blanket, make it dark, and then call me. Or if they can hang in the area, call me, but stay there so that they know where it is when I get there then I, I'll come and get it. From Cody, I'm Wendy Core reporting.